Hello everyone, I'm a sheep and welcome to a tutorial. This is going to be kind of a weird video because I've never done a tutorial before and I guess I'm just trying it out, <laughs> seeing if I remember everything, all the steps. So yeah, um, let's get into it I guess. So today's tutorial is how to play Xbox 360 games on a PC. Uh, so this is basically for if um, you're playing a, a game on like a real 360 or something and it's being real laggy because you know the 360 is pretty old by now because uh, the Xbox Series X is about to come out pretty soon. Um, well, I say pretty soon, it's probably going to be like forever away, but <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, this is just going to be me showing you how to install and use Xenia, which is an Xbox 360 emulator. So to get Xenia, basically what you got to do is, in the description, this will be the first link. This is going to take you to xenia.jp. Xenia uh, so basically what you got to do there uh, when you get here is go over to here, download. This is for the master build. Uh, so, if you want the Canary build, which is kind of a beta uh, of Xenia, I, I guess it's kind of a beta of Xenia, um, you can click the second link and that'll bring you to GitHub where you can go ahead and download Xenia here. So, to install master, just go over here to the download page of xenia.jp, the first link in the description. Uh, just go ahead and click master. Uh, click save. This is on Firefox on Chrome, the little download thing will be here. Uh, yeah, so wait for that to download. It doesn't take too long. I don't have the best internet and it's only taken a couple seconds. Anyway, so next, if you want to install Canary instead of master, uh, just go to the first, no, sorry, second link in the description and click here on um, the newest build, the newest Canary build, and click Assets and then Xenia Canary.zip. We don't need the source code. Then that will show me this and just save the file. So it's already finished. Uh, this is Xenia Canary 1.zip, just because I already had Xenia Canary .zip. Uh Okay, so basically what we got, what what we got to do now is drag and drop these onto the desktop. Ooh. As you can see, I've got uh, Xenia already set up here on the on in the downloads folder. That's kind of where I just put it. <laughs> I'll probably move it later. But anyway, so. To get or to install Xenia Master, if you have WinRAR or WinZip, I would imagine, uh, just right click it and press extract here. Same with Canary, just right click, extract here. Or you could do what I usually do just right click, or sorry, double click it, then grab Xenia.exe and drag it to the desktop. And then you can do the same with Canary. There we go. So you can see Canary is yellow and normal Xenia Master is blue. That's kind of how you tell them apart. Uh, this one also has Canary on the title as well. This doesn't have anything. This is just Xenia.exe. So basically to install it, just double click it. I'm going to install Canary. It's the exact same with Master. Just open this here. And it'll create xenia.log. And if if you if you open xenia.log, you can see there the directories. So basically, if I want to go ahead and get the directory here, it should be in documents xenia. Now, what you want to do is I have three three installations of Xenia. 
So what you got to do is double click it. I'd recommend Visual Studio, but you can use whatever you like. Um, see here, scroll down to line 35 where it says content and line 36 where it says license underscore mask equals. You got to change that to zero or else it'll only run demos. So I've already changed this to one. See here it says set license mask for activated content zero, disable all licenses. One, enable all licenses. Usually the full version of Xbox Live Arcade games. Usually just one would work for everything. Uh, you probably shouldn't use minus one. That's um, not recommended on the website. So just license, ma license mask equals one. Okay, and then go ahead and save that. And then everything here is saved. I have three, you would only have one. So right now what you gotta do is just minimize that. And then download a ROM. I actually can't tell you where to get a ROM because copyright reasons and if I tell you where to get a ROM uh, I might get in trouble with Susan and I wouldn't really like that <laughs> so basically what you gotta do is drag this onto Xenia or Xenia Canary any anyone you want I'm gonna use Canary so just let go um, yeah, I, I don't know why that happened. So as you can see, it's working with Xenia. As you can see, it's loading up Minecraft. Oh yeah, sorry, you will need an Xbox controller for this. I have one here. I have just an MSI GC30. And as you can see, um, I can use the stuff. You have to use your mouse for this stuff. I just have a load of um, tutorial worlds. I was just like getting all the tutorial worlds from all the title updates. But anyway, so yeah, as you can see, it's skipping one every time I move up or down. Uh, to solve that, well, there's not really a fix for it. You just have to use the W, A, S, D keys. Let's go ahead and exit the game. And when you start the game first, it'll be um, title update one, or sorry, title update zero, probably. Uh, what you've got, what you got to do is to title update it. Uh, you can download some Minecraft Xbox 360 edition title updates. So I just installed this or downloaded this from the internet. I, again, can't tell you where to get it, or else I might get in trouble with Susan. Uh, but, say you wanted to run title update 19. I think in this, is it's kind of a bit jumbled. I think this is title update 18 or something. But anyway, so th I think this is title update 20. So basically what you gotta do is click here, and then go to your Xenia folder, into content, and then you can see here it has two folders. You want to click f for Minecraft in particular, 584111F7. Just click into that. You actually won't have this um, uh, 000B0000. You'll either have to create that, or in my case, I can just drag and drop 000B0000. So I was just able to drag and drop that. And once you go in here, if you don't have the B00, or 000B0000 in the in your um, file, in your title update file, all you need to do is grab the TU0000 file, and then drag and drop that into the 000B0000 file. It doesn't have to be like that file, you can just Go ahead, new folder, and then name it 000B0000. Oh, sorry, that has to be a capital B as well, it's case sensitive. 
So there you go, you can have that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to do that because it would replace that. So yeah, that's basically how you title update. So I can show you. Um, let me just delete this and I'll run a newer title update. Let's get title update 31. So again, drag and drop the B000 folder. And there you have it. Now all you need to do is grab your ROM and drag it into Xenia.exe or Xenia Canary. I don't know why it's not working for me. But anyway, here, um, here we go. As you can see, it's this is the wrong title update. Uh, yeah, so this is title update one, I think. You can tell by the background it shows, yeah, this is title update one. Or, yeah, this is title update uh, zero to seven. So if I go and uh, use WISD there to select this, I can get to the first tutorial world. There you go. This is the TU1 tutorial world. As you can see, it's got the old cobblestone texture, and there is no hunger bar. So this is kind of what you would have played back in 2012 when the game came, first came out on Xbox 360. Uh, yeah, I just kind of rushed through the tutorial here so I could get it done, so I can move on to the next version. I'm kind of doing this project to have all the tutorial worlds in the one Minecraft game. So, yeah. That's going to take a long time. I did a lot of them yesterday, but yeah. I don't... <laughs> I'm going to stop rambling on. This is a tutorial, not a let's talk video. <laughs> um, yeah, so here's the tutorial world. As you can see, I'm Steve. Also, the head moves the wrong way. I'm pretty sure that was like a thing with the original, though, so I don't think it's like a problem with the ROM. But anyway, you can see like... Everything's all in sync. The graphics and the audio are all synced up. Everything's fine. Oh yeah, <laughs> the full block um, fences. They were kind of annoying. They were really annoying. Because you can't like... Go up close to them. So yeah, they were kind of annoying. Anyway, the old beds. Not bouncy, like the new beds. I, I prefer the old version of Minecraft. Oh, the old brick texture as well. Yeah, I much prefer this old version of Minecraft to the new one. There was no sprinting. Oh yeah, there's no animation or sound for the chests and they were a full block tall. They were nice because you could like put them in the floor and you could walk over them. But anyway, yeah, so that's pretty much it. If you want to save the game, just do it normally. Go to exit game, exit and save, OK, there, and it'll save your progress. And it's kind of depending on your PC. There is actually system requirements for this as well, I forgot to show you. I'll show you that next. You don't even have to press exit game because it's just going to show you this and then it's just going to freeze. So just press the X. Uh, yeah, let me show you the system requirements here. Uh, they should be somewhere. Ooh. Compatibility. No, this is the compatibility with all the uh, all the games. So you can see, like The Sims Three Pets, uh, it only loads the title. You can't actually play it. Lego Batman Two state menus so yeah you're able to play Azura's Wrath demo so yeah um, let me just look up the uh, the uh, thingies uh, system requirements Ooh. 
I don't know how to spell. <laughs> okay, so here are the minimum requirements for Xenia. So memory, 256 gigs, or sorry, megabytes. <laughs> That'd be a lot of gigabytes. <laughs> so you need a graphics card, NVIDIA G GeForce 610, or no, sorry, 6100, or equivalent. An Intel Pentium 4, 2 gigahertz, or equivalent. Uh, this is the file size of Xenia. You need Windows 7, 8, 8.1, or 10. So you can't do this on like Windows XP or something. Even though XP is pretty good. Also, this doesn't just run these ROMs. I think it's like JTAG or something this ROM is called. It also runs I ISOs. So I think you can rip straight from the disk and play from here. You can't, the one thing you can't do is insert a disk and play from that disk. Um, I don't really know how that's done, but you, you just can't do that. So, yeah, you can rip the ISO from the disk and play it like that. Or you can download an ISO. I don't condone piracy. Uh, please only use ROMs for games that you own. Uh, yeah, so... I guess this is going to be the end of the video here. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. This also only works if you have Vulkan. So just install the latest version of your graphics card drivers or your CPU drivers and you'll find out if you have Vulkan when you try to run Xenia. Um, I might actually get a clip of my MacBook running a Windows VM and I'll show you what happens if you don't have... Um, what is it? Vulcan, yeah, that's that's it. Uh, I'll um, I'll go ahead and record that now. Maybe. <laughs> so I guess that's it for today's video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.